How's everyone doing? Hello. Welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Jason Levine. Wanted to talk to you about working with green screen footage in After Effects. I'm going to show you how you can use, in particular, a preset combination of effects that we released in After Effects. Gosh, I don't even remember. A couple of versions ago, easily two to three years ago, that really kind of take care of all the problems that we face when we work with green screen. So let's get started, shall we? And we're going to begin with some footage that I shot. Uh, of my colleague, Michael Shez. And we were in the Adobe studio in San Francisco, which happens to be a green screen studio. And uh, I shot this footage that you see here with my uh, Nikon D800. So back over to effects and presets, let's go ahead and type in just the word key. And what you will see under animation presets image utilities is a combination preset called key light, key cleaner, and advanced spill suppressor. So let's go ahead and drag this onto our clip of Michael now. And once again, now you'll see it adds three effects. So key light, the cleaner, and the spill suppressor. Let's go ahead and take our eyedropper again. Let's go for a slightly brighter green this time. I think this will give us a slightly better result. And right away, whoa, that looks, <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, there's a little bit of haze and we're still seeing a little bit of that bleed, but right away, it really looks quite good. Now, if we go back into our screen mat here, Again, to check for the black and white level here. All right, we're gonna see we've got some problems up on the corners here. That's barely coming through on the stream here, but you can see this should really reflect solid black. And you see there's some really nasty sort of pixelated gray in there. We don't want that. And again, we're getting a little bit too much transparency on its face. So I'll twirl down screen mat again. I'll increase clip black just a bit. Okay, clip white. We're gonna drop that down again, all right already looking so much better. And maybe I'll even shrink the mat as well, okay? Let's go back into our intermediate result. And now it's starting to look really, really good, except we still have that green spill. Ugh. So how do we tackle that easily? Truthfully, that's one of the harder things to really combat. Well, first, before we even get there, I wanna talk about the key cleaner and the advanced spill suppressor. Because one of the things that the key cleaner is going to do, it's gonna clean up, again, a lot of those kind of rough edges, especially in a shot like this, where the further back we get from the focal point, it's already soft. And typically what you might end up with is sort of noise because it's trying to figure out, ah, where are the edges? There's really no hard edges to kind of work off of here, even though it's hair. It's blurry hair because we're shooting at F2A. So if I turn off the key cleaner, I want you to see, look at this. This is what we were seeing before, right? Ah, jagged, frightening, scary, bad 70s looking Chroma King. So just by turning on the key cleaner with the default results, you can see that the edges look so much better. Now you've got a couple other settings here, including um, additional edge radius. You've got alpha contrast and strength. But let's go ahead and focus on this, the advanced spill suppressor, because with one single click, just by turning this on, it neutralizes all of that green. Okay. Before green and look at the, look at the, the reflection of the green onto his face here on the side. You can see it very clearly and after pretty awesome, right? And look at the edges here. Look at this. Look at the sharpness. Now, again, you might think to yourself, okay, well, that's cool. However, how come, how come, uh, like, where did it get the sample for that spill suppression? What if the green is a different color? Ah, excellent question, because oftentimes the green or the blue that's reflecting onto the character is not, in fact, the same overall green, unless, of course, everything is really properly lit. Well, by default, with the spill suppressor here, I'm using the standard method. If I go ahead and switch to the ultra method, this will actually allow me to take an independent spill key color, okay? Now, in the case of what we had here, the standard was perfect. Look at that, before, after. It's just neutralized, it's gone. Now, um, let me just go ahead and just play a little bit of this back because I wanted to talk about, I'll, just, I'll kind of scrub through it here. We don't have to play the whole thing. Scrub through a couple frames, and actually, it's it's actually looking really, really good. I mean, just by default. And someone might say, ah, but the, the mask around the hair, it's a bit soft. Okay, so this is where we could, again, maybe shrink some of this. Okay, and if you pay attention to the hair here, drop this down, right? Kind of choking it a little bit. These are some controls that you'll also have in the Ultra Keyer in Premiere, all right? 
it just happens to look really, really good. Now I was seeing a little bit of flicker inside the hair right here. Again, the hair is quite soft because of that shallow depth of field. So when you see like noise and stuff kind of percolating during playback, that's when you want to enable this box here, reduce chatter. And I just want you to pay attention to this area right about here when I turn this on, just on this still frame, you're gonna see that it kind of took some of the edge off, some of the noisy edge on that, on those hair sections right there. Maybe even compromised a little bit of the detail, but again, that's where you can start to apply the alpha contrast percentage, maybe reduce the additional edge radius control here and just refine that key a little bit more. That's how we did that. Let's go to the finished version here, where if you look at the effects, more, let's go ahead and up to here. You'll see that I've composited this. Actually, the background here, this is nothing more than some uh, Adobe stock footage. More, and uh, what we've got on here is just a little bit of Lumetri color. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you here uh, is some footage of me. The reason I brought this footage up is this was something that was shot of me uh, quite a few years ago. You may have seen this video online, me singing Welcome to Creative Cloud. That's when this was from, in my best 70s gear. The reason I pointed this one out is because this, while being a wonderfully lit green screen, also done at the Adobe Studio here, um, uh, evidence is one of the problems that we have with bad green screen king, which is hair. And there's a fan going on in this shot. So my hair is blowing, it's quite wispy. You, know, you can see there, it's just like all over the place. So you've got like, all this hair, all this wispy bits. And again, when you're green screen keying that stuff, it can get real ugly if you don't know what you're doing, right? But this combination preset really takes a lot of that pain away and can honestly give you very nice looking results um, with minimal effort. So let's once again, take this preset. I'm gonna drag it right on top of the clip here. All right, come up to key light, grab our eyedropper. Again, kind of find a neutral point green. You can see it's quite a bit darker in the corners quite a bit bright right here. Let's kind of choose something that's kind of in the middle like this, all right? And right away, the key itself looks pretty good. Now, before we get to the spill, let's just kind of zoom in here. I know you're saying, ah, look at all the green. Hold on, we'll get to that. Want to show you once again, the brilliance of the key cleaner, right? This is doing so much work for us. Let's turn that off. Ah, look at all that. Look at that noise. Look at all that, the jagged edges there. <laughs> look at that chest there, oh boy. Um, I get very method when I do these things. It's all about, you know, getting into the role. So I apologize for that in advance. All right, turn the key cleaner back on. Ooh, nice and smooth. You can still see strands of hair. You just don't have all that harshness in there. And then if we go ahead and turn on the advanced spill suppressor, boom, it neutralizes all that green, just like that. Now, just as with before, I will likely go into my screen mat here. And you can see again, probably make some adjustments to very simply just to the clip black and clip white. Okay, bring this up to around 10. And then again, we're just getting a little bit of weirdness in here. So maybe just roll this back. Not even, you know, not even that much. Yeah, to around 89 or so. Again, we're getting some like reflection in here and stuff on the, <laughs> on my, uh, my gold chains. That's quite all right. And that looks pretty good. All right, let's fit it back in here. So, Without the key cleaner and without the spill suppressor, ah, again, not a bad key, but we're seeing this nasty green edge along my arm here, all this spill, all this spill in my hair. Again, a lot of blocky, noisy stuff going on in the strands of hair. Turn on the key cleaner, turn on the spill suppressor. And even as I, let's just go ahead and render, see if we can just render a few seconds of this. I'm just gonna do just a couple seconds. I'll let this render while I'm talking. Look at how brilliant, oh my goodness. So good. I can't say the same for my dancing, but I can say the same for the spill suppressor and the key cleaner. But again, look at the hair. I mean, I just kind of focus on the hair. What a beautiful key, you know? And you can actually see the background bleeding through nicely. Same with Michael. Again, look here, you can see that gray door peeking through his hair, right? As he's moving, right? So it's transparent where it needs to be, but nice and sharp and clean where we want it, all right? So my friends, that is all the time we have for this. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you again next time. Thanks everybody, take care.